Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. It is Monday, July 15th at 7 p.m. Central Time. And we are doing Facebook Live tonight because I was gone last night. So, I see some people popping in. Let me see. Oh, here comes Cynthia. Excellent. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Jenny. Welcome. I'm going to get myself set up here on my computer. Hi, Cindy. Um, so, I can see what's going on. So, just hang tight with me. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for the share, Jenny. I appreciate it. Hi, Mary. I know you guys are, <laughs> Gilmore says, hello, Greek goddess. Well, thank you, Gilmore. Yes, I did get a really nice tan, right? Oh, I got to get some more lights on in here. Hang on. It's not dark outside by any means. Hi, Heather. Hi, Denise. Okay, okay. here comes my live. So I can monitor questions better. Yay, there we go. Okay, hi, Marsha, Chris, welcome, Karen. So, what a trip. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Facebook, you have seen a lot of my pictures. And if you do not, if you're not on Facebook and you're watching this later on um, YouTube, please head over to my blog, www.estampabove.com, where I have posted a whole bunch of pictures on there to share with you also, because I know not everyone is on Facebook. So I did load up some pictures today. I didn't um, say too much about them. I think the beauty in the picture says it all. <laughs> So this trip was fantastic. Um, you know, other than a long plane ride, which it was about nine and a half, ten hours, ten and a half hours coming back. Um, if you're okay with longer plane rides, it was so beautiful. And um, Greece was gorgeous. Now, if you're into history, you would love the ruins and everything that's centered around those. I'm not so much so after we said yeah we've seen enough rocks <laughs> so after we saw a few ruins we just got kind of tired of it it was the day that we were in Athens was crazy first of all um, <clears throat> it was hot which I love but um, seven cruise ships showed up on the day we were in Athens seven cruise ships all those people converged on that city and it was insane so the crowds and the heat and walking up to that i can't remember what it's called because like i said i'm not into history but parthenon or something like that that place um walking up to that was treacherous it was like uphill and the walkway was stone but some of it was um uh, marble and it was slippery oh my lord I was surprised there weren't people falling all over the place but um, yeah so it was kind of treacherous and it was hot and the crowds were insane in Athens and so we got up to that whatever it's called the ruins and we walked halfway in it and I looked at Anna and she looked at me and I said I think I'm done here she goes yeah I'm done so we said to Dina, um, we're kind of done here. And she goes, yeah, me too. And then we asked Andy, Dina's husband, are you done? And he's like, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this. And Well, you stay here. We're going to go down and we'll just wait for you. Well, he didn't want to leave us. So he did come down. Bless his heart. He, Andy takes really good care of us on these trips when our husbands aren't along. So um, it was really neat. We had such a good time. I think our favorite, hi, Nikki Schmidt. I think our favorite day, we had two favorite days. One of the days we went on a boating trip and I thought we were going snorkeling. I remember, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but Dina messaged me one day and she goes, we need to book excursions. Do you want me to just book all the excursions? And I said, yes, just book all the excur excursions. So I didn't even know what we were doing. No clue. Don't care. We're going to have fun no matter what we do. And um, I, I know Dina would do a great job, right? So um, she booked all the excursions. I didn't even know what we were going to be doing. And one of the days we went on a boating trip, I thought it was going to be a snorkeling trip. While they did kind of have snorkels there, 
we basically went around to different bays and um, parked the boat and we jumped in the ocean which was really fun and um, that was our favorite they grilled us a lunch right on the boat so we had an authentic greek lunch with um i think lamb shish kebab no some type of lamb and then chicken shish kebabs and or skewers of chicken i should say it wasn't really a shish kebab and their vegetables that they make there and watermelon and it was just delightful we had a lot of fun that day and then our other favorite day was um cut alone or something like that it was our last day in a port and we were scheduled to go on an excursion that day but we decided we'd had enough with the excursions so we didn't go on the excursion instead we got off the ship and we went shopping at um all the little stores on the street and they were so quaint and so charming we found this beautiful art store um, and I don't know if you could call it an art store, but they had all different kinds of things, glass things and wooden things, and it was just so charming. So we, um, yeah, Parthenon, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of veggies? Well, some of them, Marsha, I don't know what they were. Um, I think they were maybe different colored carrots, maybe. We weren't really quite sure, but they were good. We ate them. Um, they were large and sliced and I don't know. There was a lot of eggplant, um, which was fine, but the, the lamb was really good. Hi, Sarah, Suzette. And while we were shopping in Cotillon or I don't know what it's called. I have a magnet with the word on it, so we'll see what it was called. I'm terrible about all the details, you guys, but this is the ring that I bought. What? I know. Isn't it beautiful? It is a um, oh shoot, I just had it. What kind of stone is that? It's a, uh, I don't even know. But anyways, it's beautiful and I love it. And this is my jewelry purchase. I usually like to buy one thing on each of our trips. I have, you guys have seen my ring that I bought on our very first cruise with Stampin' Up. Um, it's kind of got mother of pearl in it and, and some diamonds. It was really pretty. Um, blue topaz is that what this is blue topaz maybe i don't know what it is but anyways i love it <laughs> i know i'm so not about all that <laughs> so um so i decided what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna update you guys i'm gonna tell you um about or i'm gonna tell you who won i've got prizes to give away from last time thank you guys so much for watching my facebook live not live thank you all no it's not tanzanite it's a blue topaz, maybe. I don't, maybe? Turn it, I don't know. I'll think of it. It's not a blue zirconia. It's real. Whatever it is, it's a real stone because it cost me a little penny. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to award the prizes to the winners. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. Um, when I woke up on the plane, Anna reminded me it was my birthday and so I wore my happy birthday crown not this one but the happy birthday one somebody asked was it hot there yeah it was hot it was very hot um, just the way I like it um, the pool the pool on the ship was awesome we spent a lot of time poolside so that was fun Marshall what is it blue topaz is that it yes yes it's a blue topaz with some diamonds on the sides yay thank you um, I think they have blue topaz, though, too. I think. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Aquamarine topaz. I don't know. But anyways, it's not a sapphire, Linda. Sapphires are dark blue, I think. I looked at those, too. Those are... Um, this is semi-precious, and sapphires are precious like rubies and diamonds. So, yeah, I'm not affording anything like that big. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell everybody who won from last week. Thank you for watching my Facebook Live, not live. Yeah, Blue Topaz. I was right, right? Yeah. And um, then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on right now. I'm going to save all the cards that I got until the, after we do our stamping because it's pretty substantial, you guys. And so, hi, Sandra Hoff. Um, 
I wish you were still on our cruises because we really miss you. And was it Tom? I think your husband's name is Tom. You guys were a lot of fun. Um, I'm reading the comments here. Donna says, no way, aqu aquarium. I don't know. But um, aquamarine. I don't know. I'll look it up online. I don't remember what it was called, but it's really pretty, right? Is it focusing? Yeah. I love it. Oh, I do need matching earrings. What? That's a great idea. I did a lot of shopping, which I usually don't do. I usually don't buy much on these trips because, you know, when you go on a vacation, everything looks great when it's in its, um, oh, sapphire's come in all colors. Well, thank you. I didn't know that. Um, all that vacation stuff is great when it's in its own environment, but once you get it home, you're like, what do you do with this? This doesn't go with anything I have, right? So I usually don't do much shopping. But um, I have a whole box of goodies to show you guys. The pillow gifts that we got, <clears throat> the um, prizes that I won, and also a lot of the little things that I bought while I was there. And I'm gonna do that after we do stamping because if some of you are just here to see the stamping, um, you don't have to wait around through all of that. And if you're here to see the whole thing, then you wanna stick with me till the end. Aquamarine, Donna says, is more turquoisey. Oh, okay. Um, did we decide? I think it's a blue topaz. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyways. Um, so don't forget, we have bonus days. Yay! For every $50 that you order, you get a $5 coupon that's going to be emailed to you from Stampin' Up! And you will be able to redeem that coupon in the month of August. So that's really cool. Then we also have our extra, extra, our starter kit promotion. And you guys, let me grab something here. Hang on. This is our new holiday mini catalog. Oh, I should, hang on. I'm going to mirror my screen. Let's hope I don't screw anything up here. Here we go. Mirror. There we go. Yeah, this is our new holiday mini catalog. Are you seeing anything super duper cute there? Yeah. So I can show you the products that I got. Um, I cannot show you the inside of this mini catalog. That is the only rule really that Stampin' Up! has is no showing the inside, but I can show you all the stuff that I got. So that's exciting. Now I wanted to tell you about this extra extra. Um, we have a promotion going on our discount shopper kit. So you'd like to be a discount shopper with me you can choose $155 worth of product for 99 bucks. Boom! It is the best deal of the year. And then in um, August, we get to start ordering. We get to pre-order from this mini catalog. So you always get to order early when you're a discount shopper. If you would like to join my team, head over to my blog. And here's my blog address. Head over there. In the right-hand column is the $99 um, button. Click on that, you'll have all the details for the kit. You get a 20% discount on your future orders. Um, there is a $300 minimum quarterly uh, quota. If you don't meet that, nothing happens to you. This is no strings attached. Um, you get to be part of my team, which is super duper fun. I have a team meeting tomorrow night that I'll be getting ready for when I'm done with this. And um, I do broadcast that live via Facebook on our private group so that everybody can attend. Hi, Lisa Kaszewski. <laughs> so that's our extra, extra discount shopper kit, $99. You get to choose $155 in any product that you want. Yeah, Jean says the food on the trip looked amazing. It really was amazing. And um, I did not, I did go off my diet while I was on the trip because, well, how many times do you think I'm going to get to Greece? I'm going to enjoy myself, right? So, um, um, I did eat good. Well, not good, but, you know, I had fun. <laughs> and I weighed myself this morning, which I shouldn't do because I'm really puffy. Like, my ankles are dying. I get, um, my legs swell up when I fly, so I wear those, um, compression socks. They worked perfect on the way there. On the way back, not so much. So while my right leg is a little bit swollen, my left leg is like a 
like a blowfish and it's red and angry and horrible and I've got it up here on the table and it's oh you can see look how yucky it looks Meh. so um, I even have a blister from my flip-flops because my feet are so fat um, Barb says it's way too easy to purchase $300 a quarter I know it's not hard and if you think about it you really only have to do 80 bucks a month because you get a 20% discount so retail it's $80 a month and you're gonna meet your quotas to stick with it and if you don't meet your quotas to stick with it you can just order as long as you want and get that discount and that's fine too nobody's gonna come and take your stuff away from you so I just want you to know that um, okay where was I going swollen legs yeah if does anybody have a good solution for those because right before I went live I went in the living room and I laid in the recliner and I put my feet up as high as I could get them and I put wet cloths on my legs because they're like on fire. They're really super hot. And I can't remember what my mom said this morning, but she said, you need to be careful with that because blah, 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 something can happen. And my mom knows things. <laughs> you know, like moms know things. And so I thought, yeah, I better go put my um, feet up. And I did, and I don't know if it really helped, but they'll go down eventually. It's a problem I've had since my early 20s. So, oh, water with lemon, Marie says. Okay, well, I don't have any. Well, I got lemon juice. That'll work, right? And I have been, Trudy. Trudy says drink lots of water, and I have been. But anyways, oh, I was on my weight thing. So I'm up like six pounds. And, um, oh, blood clot, Jay says. You can get blood clots. Okay, well, eh, I don't want any of those, right? I knew my mom knows things, right? <laughs> Hi, Jody. So, um, I was up six pounds and I know that I'm very like retaining a lot of water because everything we ate was very salty and how many hours did we fly? Like 10 and a half. And then, well then we got to Chicago last night from Rome and, um, our travel agents didn't leave us enough time to get through customs. Isn't that nice? Mm. So we ran to our gate and we were late by three minutes and they wouldn't open it. Our plane was still there, but they wouldn't open the door. I guess they can't. And we missed our flight to Appleton. We should have been home by 5.30 last night. So then they put us on the 8.30 or 9 o'clock flight. And the gate changed four times from one end of the terminal to the other end. So we were running back and forth constantly until they finally canceled that flight. Thank you very much. Um, apparently there was, I can't drink grapefruit juice, Linda. Um, I take some medication that doesn't let me take, I can't eat grapefruit. So, and I don't like it anyways, but <laughs> um, thank you for that. So um, we got, we sat and sat and sat at the airport, and by now we're up 24 hours, right? Yeah, we slept on and off on the flight, but um, then finally, after our last flight was canceled, I don't know how many flights, lots of flights were being canceled. They said there was too much air traffic, too many planes in the sky, and there were delays because of weather elsewhere, so that was causing problems. And so we finally got on a flight to Green Bay. So instead of flying into Appleton, we flew into Green Bay, and we got to Green Bay, and we're like zombies, right? We're like, oh, get us home. Anna's husband came to pick us up. And we got off the plane and went right out to the truck and left. Because how is my luggage coming with me? I'm like, I'll deal with my luggage tomorrow. There's no way. Well, come to find out, our luggage arrived with us in Green Bay. How do they even do that? Like, we missed our flight. So apparently our luggage wasn't on that airplane. And then our next flight was canceled. And then, then I think there was another one canceled and then delays and delays and delays. And then we finally got one and ugh. so anyways, I got home at 1.30 in the morning and went right to bed. I woke up at 5 a.m. Perky, just like that. So um, I tried to take a little cat nap today. I didn't have much success, but I think I'm gonna crash early tonight because it's um, in the middle of the night in, in where we were in Greece. And uh, yeah, jet lag, but I, I'm feeling fine. So. Yeah, I heard Lisa that a lot of demonstrators had problems with travel at our airport in Chicago. Um, I know Susie Wood, their flight was canceled. They weren't getting home. I know that Sandy Carlson, same thing. Her flight was canceled and then delayed and da-da-da. 
But anyways, this morning I went up to Green Bay and picked up our luggage. So I have all my goodies here. Yeah, Dina didn't get her luggage until like Wednesday. Some people still hadn't had their luggage. Some people's flights made them miss the ship and they didn't even get on the ship until like Wednesday or Thursday. It was, you know, those type of travel things are a nightmare. So um, I am going to award prizes. I love giving away prizes. Yeah, Kathy says Chicago is the worst. You know, I've not had too many problems there, but a lot of people have, and I'm starting to feel the same way. Um, commenting. For comments on the last Facebook Live, I have Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. These are so pretty, right? And our winner is Patricia Gibbs. Patricia, I do not have your address. So if you are watching or you see this later, I will hold this for two weeks and um, email me or message me your address, okay, so I can get this out to you. And then for sharing the video last week, I have some of the black silver beautiful ribbon. This is going out to Jan Carstensen. Jan is from Wisconsin, and I'm trying to think of where, Tomahawk, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Jan. Thank you guys all for everybody that shared. Please make sure you share my video, whether you're on YouTube later or Facebook now. I really appreciate it. And then, have you guys seen this new birch background stamp? This is the coolest thing ever. I haven't used mine yet, but I'm giving this one away, and this is for placing an order. My winner is Sue Kanaus from Ackley, Minnesota. Thank you so much, Sue, and everybody else for your orders. Now I'm going to set these right behind me so I don't get them mixed in with anything and lost, right? Because nobody needs that. Um, it is very warm here today. We had some rain. I didn't do my hair. You can tell that I didn't um, do anything with my hair, but I thought you guys would be okay with that because my dressing room upstairs, and you know it's just a bedroom that nobody lives in, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's fancy though when I call it my dressing room. Is super duper hot. Like, ugh. I got all my laundry done today, so there's clothes hanging all over on all the um, window things, um, drying. So I did get all my laundry done today. But, um, yeah, so I didn't do my hair. I just took a shower. That was it. That's as far as I was going to go today. Like I said, I'm going to show the cards that I got last week after I'm done stamping. And also I'm going to show all the goodies that I got from Stampin' Up, which includes new product out of the holiday mini catalog. And other things, like we got this pretty little charm bracelet and a vest. And, oh, the pillow gifts, you guys, are just amazing. So I think we're going to start... Mm, where'd my other... Here's my bin. We're going to start with a really... Well, I don't know if I can call it quick and easy, but it's kind of a clean and crisp card. It's not a difficult card. And it uses the Daisy Lane stamp set along with that small daisy punch. This comes in a bundle. You can get this in a bundle. I haven't used it prior to this, so yay. Yeah. You want me to go back and do my hair? Oh my gosh, Barb said it was 106 there. Oh, Shan... Okay, I'm going to say your name. Chantrice is asking, how do we win prizes? You win prizes by, first of all, commenting. So I go through everybody that's commented and enter them in a drawing to win. And also by clicking on that share button, share my video, that's another opportunity to win. And when you place orders with me, that's another opportunity to win. So there's three prizes I give away every week. Also, sharing on YouTube. Make sure on Facebook and YouTube you're clicking that thumbs up. That really helps me. I so appreciate it. Um, the other stamp set that I'm going to use... Well, it's actually a bundle. Let me see if I can hold this up. Is the Tasteful Textures bundle. So I'm using this on the Daisy card also. I love these. They don't look like much, but they're super fun background elements. I think you guys are going to really be impressed with them. So that's what I'm going to use for the card that we're making right now. And I'm going to bring in my little piercing mat. This is just has a piece of um, printer paper wrapped around it. I like to use that for my stamping surface. Let me set this off to the side. Okay. 
I think we're ready to flip our phone around. You guys, I have a fan on because it's pretty warm here. We have central air, but we don't like it. I know. Freak show, right? Um, so we don't have air conditioning on. It's a little warm in here, so I've got my fan on. If you find that that's too noisy, let me know. I know when I flip my phone around, it's not going to be as loud, so you may have to adjust your volume. Just turn me up, okay? If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes, and I'll let you know when to open them up. Oh, <laughs> Susan says she wishes her hair looked that good when not doing anything to it. Well, thank you. That's really nice. My hair is just a little bit fuzzy. Um, I usually run a straight iron through it, and that... Um, just makes it a lot smoother and softer. You guys know how that works, right? Okay. Now we're going to have to unmirror. So hang tight here while I do some things. Hopefully I don't disconnect us. Now don't forget, I'm going to tell you right away because I forget sometimes. When you're putting in your order, if it's under 50 or under $150, please use this host code. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. But when it's under $150, by you using this host code, it gives me the opportunity to get things with the host code purchases that I can then give away as um, door prizes and other prizes for all kinds of stuff. So, all right, here comes our first card. And like I said, this is a clean, crisp, simple card. And I love, love, love the stamp sets that I'm using. I have a piece of... Oh, by the way, you can look now. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I forget. I have a piece of our thick Whisper White cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've already scored it at five and a half. So we're just going to fold that on the score line, give it a good burnish. And then we have a piece of Whisper White. This is four and a half by three and a quarter. And don't forget, you guys. All of these dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow with pictures of the cards. So if your streaming isn't working really good and some of this might look a little blurry on the video, you can always go underneath the video on YouTube. There's going to be a link directly to this blog post and see crystal clear pictures and all the dimensions there. Again, four and a half by three and a quarter. Then I have Coastal Cabana. This is four and three quarters by three and a half and a piece of crumb cake that is one by three, and a scrap of Whisper White. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is, these elements are so cool. This is called Tasteful Background Dyes. These little elements are just the neatest background elements. I am going to, whoops, take my Whisper White layer, and I am going to die cut this piece with these flowers on it. So just hang tight, I'll be right back. Oh, and uh, somebody from my team asked if I was gonna be doing our regular question and answer tomorrow. Every Tuesday morning at 10.30, I do a live question and answer on my team Facebook page so that everyone can ask questions and get a little bit more in-depth answers to them. And yes, I will be doing that tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Central Time for those of you on my team. And I forgot to answer Wendy. Wendy asked um, about the new paper cutter. We did get to see the prototype of the new paper cutter. It's a little bit bigger than the cutter we have now and you guys are gonna love it. It's very similar. So if you um, already have a cutter and you have blades for that, the reason why we had to get rid of it is because the blades, we can't get enough blades to keep everybody satisfied. So if you're in the market for a new paper cutter, hang tight. We don't know exactly when it's gonna be available, but I think it's gonna be soon. Isn't this just pretty? I'm gonna lay this right over that Coastal Cabana so those flowers can peek right through there. And we're going to do a little bit of stamping here. I have crumb cake, coastal cabana, and grapefruit grove. So I'm going to start with the crumb cake. And I'm going to bring in the stamp from the Tasteful Textures. And this is just like a textury background type of stamp. 
I'm going to ink that up in the crumb cake and I'm going to stamp off once and I'm going to put one right here stamp off again and put another one right down there and that may seem kind of weird right now but just hang with me you'll see why I'm doing that then I'm going to take some dimensionals and I just cut up a whole bunch of pieces here I always use the edges up you guys so don't throw away your dimensional edges these work just as good as the ones like these round ones that we're supposed to use right so don't throw those edges away you can use those too and yeah um Tundra just said that the flowers, these flowers could also be used for poinsettias at Christmas time. And how absolutely right are you? Right? Oh, is that, somebody's asking me, is that the bracelet that you what? I missed what you said. Hang on a second. For some reason. Oh, I've got people messaging me. Can't message me when I'm on a live. Hang on just a second, you guys. I'm having a couple problems here. My message or my comments aren't showing up. I've been my computer's been running really slow today. Like I've been having a lot of weirdo issues with it. Yeah, so it's loading. But anyways, I'm gonna take the backing off of here. Okay, here it goes. Oh, what set is this dye? This dye, the flower dye, comes out of the tasteful backgrounds. And it's a bundle with the tasteful textures. So tasteful backgrounds and tasteful textures. What's everybody drinking tonight? I have water. I know that my Optavia coach would be very proud of me. Oh, somebody said it's Amazon Prime Day. And Jenny asked if Steve survived without me. Well, let me tell you. Steve had a party the weekend I left, pool party, and it was really cute because they all lined up in the pool and took a picture and sent it to me wishing me a happy birthday, so that was really cute. <coughs> and then he had another party yesterday where everybody came over, everybody and their kids, and they just had a blast. So yeah, Steve was busy while I was gone. <laughs> Okay, here's what we've got here. And um, hang with me, you guys. I don't know, I have this dry spot in my throat that's been going on for a little while. And sometimes it makes me like choke. Um, so yeah, Steve survived just fine without me. Here comes this, oh. We're gonna punch this one inch by three inch strip of crumb cake with the banner triple punch. Love that. And then we're going to stamp our smile on here. And isn't that cute? I am a sucker for any stamps that say smile. I just, for some reason, they just always catch my eye and I love them. Okay. Let me get my messages. Oh, and today, this morning, all of a sudden our ice maker wasn't working. And I'm like, oh, what's wrong with the ice maker? Because... I don't know about you guys, but Anna and I decided that we're kind of ice horrors. That's what we call ourselves. <laughs> because we have to have a lot of ice. And without an ice maker, it's almost as bad to me as like if you didn't have indoor plumbing. Not even kidding. So um, Steve messed with that and got it working again. Thank goodness he's good about stuff like that, right? Here comes our scrap of Whisper White. We're going to set that aside for a minute. You know what, Maggie? Maggie says you love smile because you seem to always be smiling. And you are very correct. I do smile a lot. I laugh a lot. And, um, you know, life is short. And I heard one time, people who laugh more live longer. <laughs> Yay! So. Oh, and Trudy's getting kicked off tonight. I'm so sorry, Trudy. Doggone it. Mine is streaming perfectly, like it's crystal clear, so I'm not having any problems. But somebody said that it's Amazon Prime Day, so that could be creating some internet issues with everybody being on Amazon. I, I placed an order today. I ordered, where are they? Oh, I set them out in the hallway. 
these little wooden hearts to sprinkle around on the tables at Haley's wedding, which brings me to another point. By the way, this is Grapefruit Grove, and um, we have two different daisy stamp sets, but you've got the big daisy in here, and that goes with our bigger daisy punch. Okay, we've had this for a while. And then you've got this little daisy that goes with this new smaller daisy punch. So super, super cute. Smile, friend. The best moments in my life happen with you, and it's your time to shine. So very nice, pretty stamp set. Um, where was I going with that? I was talking about something. I don't know. I'll think of it. So we're going to glue these two together. I'm just going to put a little glue right in the middle here. I was talking about internet. I don't know. Oh, I did place an order with Amazon. I ordered these little wooden hearts to sprinkle around on the table. Oh, and that, now I remember what I was going to tell you guys. Um, so with Haley's wedding coming up, it's just around the corner on August 3rd. And for those of you new to me, Haley is my daughter. And she is the last one getting married. And, um... With her wedding coming up, I am going to be scaling back just a little bit on my regular weekly stuff, I think. Okay, so here comes my little daisy. Look at that. Isn't that cute, you guys? Yeah. And I just wanted to let you guys know that. So while I'll try to keep up, I'll still be doing Facebook Lives on Sunday night. Here's our Happiness Blooms enamel dots. I love these. And Grapefruit Grove is one of the colors, so that was perfect, right? Um, but I may be scaling back on some of the other things that I do each week just because she needs me now. I have to build a donut wall. So I'm going to be working on that this week. I have a team meeting tomorrow night. But after that, then i got to do the donut wall. Because she doesn't want a cake. She just wants donuts. Um, I don't know if Haley's watching. Steve usually watches. He's out in the garage. But he's usually watching me. Okay, next... We are going to take, now this stamp set has some beautiful, well, three images in it. And this one, of course, matches, you know, this. Does it match up perfectly? Well, I'll be darned, it sure does. Look at that. And then we have this one that matches. It's kind of like this. It doesn't match up to die cut it, but it's similar. And then this one. I am going to take the flower one, okay, in Coastal Cabana ink. And I'm going to stamp right here and right here. And then we're going to add this layer. I left this glue open the whole time I was in Greece. And all it does is just like plug up the end. So that's kind of nice, right? Because it doesn't wreck it. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that pretty, you guys? It's just simple and pretty and I love it. And then I have a saying for the inside. The best moments in my life happen with you. I'm gonna do that right here. Yay, I got it straight. And then I wanted to do something else besides what I did in my sample. So I'm gonna pull this out. Now, for those of you that are new, you might not have seen this, but our stamps come like this, okay? And they just pop right out. You want to remove the backing off of the stamp, so we've got that off. And then this is how I put mine together. If you look at this paper, there's a slit in each one of these stickers. And I peel each side off. And then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna match this up as perfectly as you can. Push it down, peel it off, and now we have a cling stamp, which is fabulous, right? And I wanted this for the inside, and I'm gonna do it right down there. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest? So here's our first card. You're gonna see a lot more coming from me. Oh look, I have orange all over my fingers. Isn't that great? Yeah, I just got orange on my card. Oh well, have you guys seen these sand erasers? Yeah. So sometimes you can get these marks off. Or I could put some more embellishments on it. That's pretty good. 
I'll work on that later. But I mean, you know, you know what happens. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't drop it in the ink pad yet. All right. So that was our first card. Um, you're going to see a lot more from me with both of these bundles, the Daisy Lane and the Tasteful Textures, because I've got some things up my sleeve, like my head is spinning with ideas with both of these. I love the daisies. You know, I love to um, use flowers with wood grains, and we have some new wood grain designer series paper that's in one of our packs, and I can't hardly wait to start playing with this a little bit more. So... These are some good bundles to get. If you don't have them, you're gonna find there's a ton of ideas using both of them. Oops. All right, for those of you that may have come on late, if you will share my video, you'll be entered in a drawing to win prizes. I always appreciate that. And um, if you're on YouTube later, sharing there, giving me a thumbs up, that's awesome. That really helps me out. It's weird. It works with the analytics and it gets you higher, I don't know, ratings or something. I don't understand all that stuff, but it does good things. That's all I know. Hey, how come this doesn't fit in there? Oh, I know. I had an extra one. Let me clean this. If any of you don't have this chamois, this is a chamois, and it works really good to clean your stamps. Super easy. I just keep it in a clear stamp case, like... These are clear stamp cases. You can order these. They come, I think, four to a pack for like, I don't know, six or seven dollars. They're really inexpensive. Okay, let me set that over there. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. Oh, Sarah knows someone who just did a donut wall. Please do. So Sarah just um, messaged on here. She says, I know someone who has just did a donut wall. So yeah, Haley doesn't like cake. <laughs> so she decided that she wants donuts instead. And she's like, Mom, can I have donuts? I'm like, you can have whatever you want, like, well, within reason, right? Okay, we're not going to get too crazy with that. But, yes, you can have a donut wall. I think that's a fantastic idea. If you don't like cake, you do what you want. So we're having a wedding shower this Saturday, and I haven't even started on that. Yeah. And I'm making all the food. And I need to get tables and chairs. If any of you local gals um, have any, like, fold-up chairs that I can borrow, that would be awesome. I'm going to put a call out here pretty soon for them. But I think my neighbor has tables I can borrow. But I need chairs. <laughs> okay. I just covered up all my messages. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Patricia. Patricia just said, welcome home. June said that her daughter had a donut wall. Good deal. Yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, Steve just sanded off a pallet. We got a wood pallet, and he just sanded that. We're going to do something with that, too. So, you know, kind of Pinteresty. Okay, you guys. I am using the Floral Essence stamp set, the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper, and also the Petal Pink Organdy Striped Ribbon for a fun fold card. I think you're gonna love it. Oh, and I pulled that greeting. This is one of my favorite greetings. Oh, darling, you are fabulous. So I've got this greeting that I'm gonna use on my card too. Okay, now, never fails. Somebody asks me, where do I get this tray that I put my stamps in? This is an old wood case from when we used to have wooden stamps in these cases. There was a lid that opened up. I just cut the lid off. You can't get them anymore, so. Just want you to know that. I know it's a source of frustration sometimes, right? And can I just say that um, it's really hot in here and I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Is this? Oh, I thought that was a hair tie. If Steve hears me, Steve, darling, if you are watching this, can you please go upstairs? And on my desk, I have hair ties and I need one because I'm dying here. <laughs> I'm probably having a hot flash that I can't even feel coming on because it's so hot in here. Don't worry, I'll live. I choose to live like this, you guys. <laughs> I know, kind of crazy, right? Okay. Um, here's what we're going to do. Oh, I need my... Now, you can use your Simply Scored or your Paper Trimmer, whichever one works better for you. I'm going to bring in my Paper Trimmer. This is... I, I did say this is a fun fold, right? I think you guys are going to love this. And then I'll show you where I got the idea from because it came from one of you. I 
get so many good ideas from the cards that you guys send me. So thank you so much for that. So um, this is Petal Pink. And this is 10 by 5 and a half. I am going to score it at four and a quarter and then again at eight and a half just like that okay let's get my lights in here then I've got another piece of petal pink this piece is three by seven and I'm gonna score that at three and a half okay just like that let's get this out of the way And then I'm going to just tell you about the rest of these pieces right away. So I've got two pieces of Whisper White. These are both four by five and a quarter. And then I have two pieces of Whisper White that are three and a quarter by two and three quarters. And two pieces of designer series paper. This one is four by five and a quarter. This one is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then another one here that is, hang on, three and a quarter by two and three quarters. Whew. And this is the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. Pretty, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me bring my pieces in here. And I got to see what I did on my other card so I know what to do here. And then I'll show you that other card too, so don't worry. Yeah, Luann says the oh darling sentiment is the main reason why she bought the set. Yeah, I love the I love that one, right? And there's some dies that go with this too that you can get to match it. These are really pretty. I, I love everything about this. So it's a good one. Alright, so we're gonna fold on our score lines. I'm gonna burnish those edges good. You want to do this first. Make sure it's folding up nice. You might find that this piece is a little longer and this doesn't fold over good. If so, just take a little sliver off of it and then it'll fold up nice for you. So we're going to take this strip of designer series paper. Whoops, I almost put glue on the wrong side. Hang on a second. And... We're gonna add that right to this little side portion. There we go. And then this piece, don't you love that green? Oh, it just looks so yummy. Delicious. This piece, I'm gonna put right in here. Isn't that pretty? I just love this paper. It's so, so attractive. Then we've got this piece right here. We're gonna fold that and burnish that edge. And we're going to add this designer series paper piece right here. Then we have some stamping to do. Okay, those two. Now, I'm gonna take these pieces. I've got Blackberry Bliss here. Mango Melody and Mossy Meadow. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp up the front. And I'm doing my greeting first, the Oh Darling, You Are Fabulous. And I'm going to put that right up here. Oh, and it's straight, so that's good, right? <laughs> and then we're going to come in with this solid flower. And again, in the Blackberry Bliss, I'm gonna put this right over here on the edge. And there's all kinds of centers for each one of these flowers. Like um, this center right here goes with this flower, this center goes with this flower, and this center goes with that flower. So that's what I'm using here, is the ones that go with each flower. And this is the Mango Melody. Oh, thank you so much, Ashley. Ashley says, welcome back, Kelly. Thank you so much. It's good to be home. Although I've never been on a vacation that lasted long enough to the point where I was ready to come home. 
I don't know. I'm just, I told my stepdaughter, Anna, I could be a professional vacationer. Like, I would be really good at that. Okay, so now I just took these green outlines. This is a green outline leaf image. Like, that's what I meant to say. I'm going to bring in my aqua painter. And then I always like to grab a tissue, just in case. And I'm going to just come in here and because this ink is not waterproof you can come in and bleed it a little bit and that's all I'm doing here in these outlined leaves is I'm just kind of bleeding that mossy meadow ink a little bit to give my leaves just a tiny tiny bit of color and again this might be something that you're not gonna see on the video but when you go to my blog tomorrow you're gonna see that color on there okay so this is our first one. We are going to set that aside. Then we're gonna bring in the second little panel. And let me clean this off a little bit. I got kind of crazy with the ink there. Okay. Time for a little drink. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with that same flower. Oh, you know what I wanna do first? I want to do my greeting first because if I mess that up and it's not straight then I didn't do any other work right and this says all days are beautiful that begin with you oh and that looks good <laughs> okay Whew. then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put this bigger flower right over here and then there's also a smaller flower that's a solid image and I'm gonna do that one right up here and then another one right over here Ooh, I almost dropped that in the ink. Did you see that? Okay, and then I have to get the middles that go with that. So here's the middle for this one in the um, Mango Melody. And then there's another middle that matches up perfectly with the smaller ones. There we go. Whew. So far so good, right? Then there's a little outline leaf, and I'm just gonna come in and add a couple of those around. Just kind of filling things in here. I think I might mm, bring in the bigger leaf and maybe add that right down there. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with my aqua painter. I'm just gonna come in and bleed that ink just a tiny bit so my leaves don't look white. I hope you can see that. And again, you'll be able to see it in the pictures on um, my blog when I get that posted tomorrow. I think probably tonight I am going to crash and burn when I'm done, <laughs> um, which means that I am not going to work anymore tonight because I think I'm gonna have some big time jet lag, quite frankly. And when I get done with Facebook Live tonight, I'm probably going to call her a day and head to bed. Oh, look, I just smeared ink all over that. I'm really good at that. Yep, okay. So now I'm using the outline flower, and I'm going to stamp that right down here. And then there's also some solid leaves in this. I'm still just using this flower stamp set other than that Oh Darling sentiment. So I'm going to come down in here and add some of these solid leaves right in here, okay? And then, hang on, I just stuck my finger in the ink again. I'm gonna come in here. This is gonna bleed a lot more because there's a lot more lines on these flowers than the leaves did. But I'm just gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna come in here and I did not squeeze my aqua painter. It's already got enough water happening in it. Can you guys see that? I hope I'm not out of the camera. And I am just making that ink bleed a little bit to color in my flower. Isn't that cool? And then we've got the bigger center for this big flower. And there we go. So this is one of those white panels. And here comes the other one. I'm gonna stamp a flower right there and another one down here and then whoops bring in the bigger leaf and
stamp those. And maybe one more right up here. There we go. Oh, there goes some more ink. My friends understand. Okay, here comes a little bit of green bleeding. And again, you don't have to get too crazy with this. Just smear your aqua painter around in there a little bit. This isn't, it's not hard. I don't want this to be something that you really spend a lot of time on because it's just not necessary. You want to stay away from the Blackberry Bliss while you're doing the leaves, otherwise it will bleed. And then I'm just going to come in here and do my flower again. And again, don't, don't spend too much time on this because it's real simple. Don't overthink it. That's what I always like to say. Don't overthink this part. Just come in here, splash some color around. And you'll be surprised. It doesn't look that great when you're really close to it and you're like looking at it going, man, eh, what did I do? But once you take a step back and come back and look at it, it looks great. I love it when cards do that. You're like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But then you come back later and it's like, oh, that looked really nice. Turned out really good. All right. Just trying to get a, my brush is getting really... There we go. Really dry. Squeeze just a tiny bit of water into it. There we go. Isn't that nice? That's an easy way to color. And then we're going to do those centers again. Okay. Let me close these up because we're ready for assembly, you guys. Yay! Yeah. Jennifer says it really wouldn't be handmade if it didn't have some smudges. You got that right, sister, because I live by that motto. I'm really good at that part. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the two flower panel and we're going to put that right here. This panel is going to be the one that you're going to use for mostly for writing on. And that's going to go on the inside right here. Got a little bit of overrun there. And D, if D is watching, I hope you're watching this because are you recognizing this card? Because it's yours. Yeah. I know she's going to be so excited. Um, D Esplana made a card and sent it to me that uses this layout. And I just fell in love with it. Okay, so this goes on the inside. Now, don't glue your front together yet. We are going to close our card, and your front panel is going to go right here. So I am going to take some glue, put it right there. You could also use tear and tape. I'm going to line this layer up with the edge of my designer series paper. So I hope you can see that. Give it a good press there. And then remember that um, peach ribbon. This is the organdy striped ribbon that goes with this whole bundle. And let me bring that out. I've got sweat dripping in my eyes. Is that too much information? Oh, here's that stamp set. Look at the pretty things they did with it. Yeah, neat, right? And then here's the Daisy Delight stamp set. This was the original one. And then here is the Daisy Lane. And, oh, I thought I marked that. I thought I marked this Perennial Essence. Well, let me find it. Floral Essence is the stamp set. You guys know there's an index back here, right? Floral Essence is on page 108, right here. So, this is a whole suite. You can get the stamp set, the punch, the designer series paper, some colored vellum, the ribbon, and those floral centers for flowers all together. This all coordinates with itself. So I love that. That's a new feature that Stampin' Up! has this year. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to take my ribbon. Oh, and let me measure this for you guys because I know sometimes it's kind of a... 
It's like, how much, how, how long was that ribbon, Kelly? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. That was 12. So I'd say about mm, 23 to 24 inches of ribbon. So we're going to take this. And I am going to kind of center it right here. And I'm just going to grab some tape. You could use mini glue dots or whatever you want to use. I'm just going to tape it down right here and then tie it in a pretty little bow. I've got another card to show you too that I did in a different color with the same layout. Okay, there we go. Make this pretty. Okay, um, scissors, I'm gonna trim that. Oh, that was terrible. I must have glue on my scissors. Yep, I'd say I do. And then this is going to go on top of the ribbon. So I'm gonna put glue on the top and the bottom of the back of this one. And we're just gonna glue this right down in here. I seriously have sweat running down the back of my leg. Like, how is that even possible? I must be having a hot flash. Okay, too much information, I know. Okay, so here's our pretty, pretty little card. I'm gonna undo this. This will mail very nicely. And then it opens up here. And then it opens up here and here. What do you guys think? I just love this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, let me show you the other one that I made. Oh yeah, Marilyn says the flowers would be really pretty if they were colored with Wink Stella too. And yeah, you're absolutely right they would. All right, let me get this other one out here. Here's the other one, and the only difference, I use the same designer paper, I use the same, I use some lace here, some lace trim instead of the ribbon, and then I use Blackberry Bliss for my base. So this just ties also. There we go, Blackberry Bliss is the color. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like the petal pink or the Blackberry Bliss? I don't know. I'm not sure. And then let me show you where the whole idea came from because D. Esplana is the one who sent this to me. Look at how pretty this is. This is our polka dot ribbon. And this opens up like this. It says, the world needs more of you. This was a thank you card. And then she actually put a post-it note in here so I could use her card. I love that, right? And she wanted to thank me for all the help and for always being quick to reply and having the right answers. Oh my gosh, Dee, you are so welcome. Thank you for a fabulous layout that I absolutely love. So I hope you guys will try this. Now, the other thing that I wanted to tell you, when you cut this big panel that is 10 by five and a half, what you have left over here is this three inch piece that I used for this. You just have to trim it off a little bit. So one piece of cardstock will make this and this part right here. So that's pretty cool, right? Kathy says she likes the Blackberry Bliss. Cynthia says she likes the Blackberry Bliss. I, um, I kind of do too. I think it pops really nicely and it really makes that green vibrant, right? All right, so here's our three cards that we made tonight. And I am going to show you all the goodies that I got from Stampin' Up! now. So, hang tight. For those of you that don't have time to hang around for that, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I always appreciate your watching my video. Please make sure you click on that share button, whether you're on Facebook right now, whether you're on Facebook later, or whether you're on YouTube. That really does help me out. And... Always remember, if you have any questions about anything, I do go back through and try to catch any questions that I might have missed. But um, always feel free to um, instant message me or um, email me. My email address is just kelly at a stamp You can place orders right on my blog. There's an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Just click on that. It'll take you right to my store. 
I'm gonna clean these up so they don't get anything dirty. And there we go. So once again, we use the Tasteful Texture stamp set with the matching framelits, the Daisy Lane stamp set with the matching punch, and the Floral Essence with the greeting, Oh Darling, You Are Fabulous, from the Stitched All Around. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way, and I will show you my goodies. Hang on, I gotta take my glasses off because I have sweat in my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh, these working conditions, right? No, I'm not whining, but it is a problem. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna bring in my big box. I brought this in before I went live. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy. I'll just set it right on my chair. Okay, you guys, this is all like, all put together. So here is one of my first items that I got. And this is a ceramic dish, it was made in Greece. And isn't that so pretty? Yeah, <laughs> somebody just said, complain to the boss, call OSHA. I am going to do that. <laughs> This is, I'm gonna use this for a candy bowl. We usually have some candy sitting on the counter in the kitchen. I don't eat it, but when the grandkids come over, Steve likes to have candy in a bowl. Um, I'm just gonna leave this sit on our, our island in the kitchen and this will be my nice little souvenir from Greece, right? Yeah, just a ceramic bowl that's hand painted. So that was fun. Here's one of our gifts from Stampin' Up. I hope you guys can see all of this. This is a gorgeous, bag. Look at that. And it says Stampin' Up in there. Stampin' Up. It says Stampin' Up right here. It's got a zipper pouch in here. This is just such an elegant bag. And it zips up and it snaps together and it's got a handle here and then it's also got these backpack handles. So super, super pretty, right? I love this. That was one of our pillow gifts. Let me see where am I gonna put this stuff. I'll put it right up here. Hang on. Then this is the vest that we got. Now I don't quite understand why they gave us a vest when it was like 100 degrees. But um, I like it. I like the vest. Got a little pocket here for like your cell phone. It says Stampin' Up on it. I love logo wear. That's always a plus. And it's thin, it's not a thick vest, but it is insulated. Here's our little Stampin' Up! logo in there. And these ran really super small too. Oh, and look, the Greek Isles, that's our logo from the Greek Isles. So super cool, another wonderful gift. Then I bought some Greek salad spices and some Kalamata olives for Greek salads. One day Stampin' Up! gave us um, this bottle of olive oil, organic, I can't even read it, made from our organic olive grove in Lesvos Island, Greece. So isn't that pretty? We got this in a little bag with two brand new punches. This is a makeup, um, case with the Stampin' Up! logo on it and yeah just a nice makeup case cool right and do you recognize this this is the paper I just used right this is the paper we just used it's pretty crazy okay then I bought this hat we didn't get this I bought it so I thought it was really cute, and I thought it would match my swimsuit, but it really doesn't. But I'll still wear it. And, oh, this is one of the little tote bags. I think the olive oil with the two punches came in here. So these things are left on our bed every night. And we're out and about, and then we come back, and we have prizes. Presents. 
and they had all these little tags on it on um, all of these things little clips with little tags there's another little bag here I don't know what came in it but it's in this it's in this box oh look at this is smashed this is the most wonderful time product kit medley and you know what I can show this to you we are not allowed to show the inside of the catalog but we can show any product that we get so that's cool right and oh here it comes what ready for a new stamp set yay two step stamping two step stamping love it we've also got some most wonderful time dies um, hang on, I'll open these up. <laughs> Elizabeth says, when I laid my glasses down, it looked like I went home for the night. It did, didn't it? Here's just some um, dies that are going to cut out these little presents and the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree. And then there's a star here and an angel. So that's cool. And I gotta put these back in here, so you're gonna have to bear with me, otherwise I will never remember how these all go back together. Okay, so this is a medley. Like, remember, um, somebody just sent me this card. I don't remember what this medley was called. Remember this medley? Yeah, that's what this is. Same type of thing. So in this box, you get all this stuff. Ooh, tinsel ribbon. That's pretty. I. I, this is the first time I'm seeing this stuff with you guys. I did not open this. Stars. Yay. Oh, and look at this. This is pretty. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can stab myself. Wouldn't surprise me. Did you guys watch my video where I got locked out on the balcony in our um, cabin on the cruise ship? <laughs> oh, look at that. How pretty is that? So this is the designer paper. These are die cut. Yep, die cut adhesives. There's a couple sheets of those. Oh, there's lots of them. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> Banners and candy canes. And oh, look at how cool those deer are. Oh, and there's the other side. And there's gold foil on these. So it's got the gold foil. Aw, oh, look at these presents. Those are adorable. Stripes with the gold gold foil. Ooh, these trees are pretty. More candy canes. More candy canes and red and white stripes. Oh, love it. I got some red and white striped ribbon that I'll show you too. This is so pretty. So this is like that other product medley. So you get all of this stuff. And I think it's $70 for this entire thing. All of these, the stamp set, the ribbon, the gold stars, all the paper, the die cut adhesives, the dies, and the stamp set. And it's called Most Wonderful Time Product Medley. Yay, that's fun! Okay, here we go. Set this aside. All right. Oh, this is something that somebody gave us. We were standing in, where were we? Santorini, I think, sweating our butt off. Look at this. She got these from Amazon, and it's a fan, so you can fan yourself. She stamped on it with our um, Magnolia stamp set. Isn't that cute? And then it just goes like this. Kind of like one of those tents that pop up. Fits right in there. Neat, right? Oh. Here's my magnet that I bought at Cata, Catacolo, Catacolone. Catacolone, I think that's the name of the island we were on. That's where I did most of my shopping. But this is a piece of glass. Isn't that pretty? It's got a little cat and a door. Yeah, I bought this for my office because I like to bring home magnets. Um, did I ever show you guys the one that I got when we were in Yellowstone? Isn't that cool? Yeah, so anyways, we'll get back to the what I'm doing here. Um, here's a shopping bag that we got for the day that we were in San Santorini. So this is really cute, right? It's just a just a bag so we could shop. 
And oh, here's some new stars. These are the star designer elements. And these are copper. Pretty, right? And here's a gorgeous card that my friend Corinne made me. Look at this. How pretty is that? I love this tufted in the background with this, um, what is that called? Just Eat Cake stamp, stamp set, I think. Ready? <gasps> Ta-da! I think I'm going to keep this. I'll put this in my bin to show you guys how to do this because this is pretty cool. So, Corinne, if you're watching, thank you very much. It was so wonderful to see you. Corinne takes her sisters on the trip every year. And um, I don't know where my bin went. Um, hang on. Oh, I know where it is. So she has her three sisters that come with her and Corinne lives out in Montana, but um, her sisters all live here in Wisconsin. I think they're all in Wisconsin. One of them is close by. I spun the wheel and got the pattern party decorative masks. These are not new. These are, these were in the catalog last year. So that was just a nice prize that I won. I'll probably um, pay it forward with that because I do have it. Here's just another bag, Stampin' Up! 2019, that has our grease symbol on it. And, oh, I showed you guys this. This was our travel documents. They always come really fancy. So here was all of our travel documents, and you can, you know, put stuff in here and use this as a wallet and take notes and had our schedule in there. I probably should have read that, but I didn't. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> Yeah, I usually look at it when I'm on the plane going to the place where I'm going. This was on our cabin door, just like this. So this hung on the door of all the Stamping Up! demonstrators. And these are, um, if you've ever seen my office, I have a whole bunch of things hanging around that has my name on them. And, well, here. Um, oh, I can't get that one off of there. Hang on, I'll show you. Here's one. This was from the last Founder Circle in St. George, Utah, but these hang, hung on our um, hotel room doors. This hung on our cabin door. So Stampin' Up! always has something signifying, you know, that there's a demonstrator in that room, which is pretty cool. But I like to hang those up around my office. Okay, then, oh, I bought this little jar of candy, and I think I'm going to use it um, to make a treat, some type of a treat but it's called traditional caramels, and it's strange, right? Caramels, that's what they call them, but it's really mint like hard Christmas candy. I don't know, I thought they were pretty. Oh, and then we have Flat Barb and the Sheriff. My One of my best friends, Barb, she doesn't get to come on the trips anymore due to a family vacation conflict. So we have Flat Barb and her husband, the Sheriff, and we take them and then take pictures with them and we all laugh about it. <laughs> so. You always got to pack Flat Barb and the Sheriff. Then I got these ornament punches. I hope you can see those. Let me get them out of the bag. There's two in a bag. So there's a stamp set that matches these. Yep. What are they called? Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack. And then the Pine Tree Punch. So that's, can you guys see that okay? Yeah, there we go. That looks better. The pine tree. And Suzette says she loves, oh, Suzette saw the flat barb and the sheriff pictures. Yeah, they're pretty funny. We can do a good job at making them look like they're really there if you hold it just right. And then look at these. These are brightly gleaming foil elements. So look at that. We've got copper and copper. And these are, these are, die cut adhesives so very pretty look at the cardinal who doesn't love a cardinal for Christmas right oh love it and then oh I won these in prize patrol I think no oh this was spin the wheel cup of cheer dies so I don't have the stamp set but here is the dies that go with a set of mugs yeah cute right and then tags, tags, tags. <laughs> There's a punch that matches these. So that's exciting. And here's the perfectly plaid stamp set. That's a bundle with this Christmas tree punch. Let's see if I can keep the light from glaring on it. 
Isn't that cute? I love the fonts in here too. Okay, let's see, what else is in my box? Yeah, it ain't over yet. Oh, this is what I won. Prize Patrol, ornate frame dies. Look at these. Oh, let me get this off of here. One of them kind of got out of place here. Look at how pretty those are. All these frames. Yeah, cool, right? I know. And this actually is a bundle with a Halloween stamp set. So, pretty cool. And what else? Oh, I won some of these. So, that's cool. These are not new, but I did win them. Spinning the wheel. Oh, look at this. This is my card. Isn't that pretty? This is just the beautiful friendship. This, by the way, beautiful friendship. When you place an order of, with me for $25 or more, I will give you a exclusive video tutorial using this stamp set which has six different ideas in it with their own videos to show you how to make things with the stamp set. That's my gift to you when you place an order with me. And this was from Kylie and Bruno. Kylie is number one demonstrator in Australia and her husband is also a demonstrator and um, they were thanking me for um, I was a guest presenter in their training program so thank you. I don't think Kylie watches me. She's a busy lady, but you never know. Okay, here's some more of those little signs. <gasps> My friend Lori Krause made this. It's so adorable. So these are our little pillow boxes, right? She cut the top off and um, die cut an oval in here. And then look at this. It opens from the bottom. There's my name, Kelly. She brought gifts for her friends. You gotta see these. Okay, bobby pins with our, what are these called? I've got some right here. These are called flower faceted gems. So she put some on bobby pins and then she made earrings out of them. So she gave me some earrings and this adorable, hang on, what's happening? There we go. This adorable bracelet, you guys, all from these. Isn't that sweet? Lori always brings me a gift every year. Um, I did share a picture with Lori and her husband, Dave, on my um, Facebook page. So, yeah, she's one of my dear friends from Michigan. Love her, and she's very. she loves to make jewelry. She's a very talented stamper also. So, isn't this just the cutest little gift? Look at all that fits right in here. Oops, my belly band. There we go. Oh, this is supposed to, it kind of got mashed in, you know, coming home with me. Hang on, I got to get this back together. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so that's the way that you can really spruce up your little gifts that you give people. Um, oh, and then this is pretty cool. Black dimensionals. So have you ever made something where you're using black and then your dimensional, your white dimensionals, you can see it when you tilt the card sideways? Well, these are black dimensionals, and they're new in our holiday mini catalog. I want to look at these. Look at that black dimensionals. I think that is genius. Let me see if I can get it back in here. Almost. Come on, you little bugger. Now I'm going to ruin it. There we go. Yeah, so black dimensionals, that's pretty cool. Now you guys have to be patient with me because if I don't put these things back in here, they'll be a big mess and ugh, you know. You know. You know how it goes. All right. Okay, that'll be good enough. I can slide that all in there later. Um, oh, here's another stamp set. Itty bitty Christmas. Yay! Love the fonts. Lots of great little Christmas greetings there. Oh, I got an extra one of these. Yeah. Whoever was packing up the things, this is from that medley kit, that box that I showed you. Whoever was packing these up, 
they didn't realize the stamp set was in the box, so everybody got another stamp set, too. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and then I won these. And again, these aren't new, but I spun the wheel, and that's what I won. I also won some of our um, Granny Apple Green Ribbon, which also isn't new, but look at this. <gasps> I think this is Cherry Cobbler. It's called Diagonal Striped Ribbon Cherry Cobbler. Look at that. Beautiful. And, oh, these were our make and takes. I took them but didn't make them because I was on vacation. So I need to make those up. Here's something that Jessie Holton, she's a demonstrator from Australia. She was on our little boat trip. She made this and handed it out. It's the, with the um, noble peacock paper and then that little gazebo deal. Isn't that cute? And what else? Oh, oh, oh. We've got designer series paper. Should I open it? What do you guys think? I think I should open it, right? <laughs> okay. Hang on so I don't stab myself. Gotta be careful. I gotta get a drink. My mouth is getting dry. I stopped sweating, by the way, so... Obviously, I was having a hot flash. Yeah, it's a problem. Okay, this is called Toll Tidings Designer Series Paper. Ooh, look at it. We got some checkers... Oh, this is like really kind of old fashioned. Some stripes, some leafy things, greenery, I should say, in both red and green. Oh, look at the bears and the foxes and the elks and the rabbits. Holy cow. It's like hunting paper. <laughs> so this is really old fashioned. This is pretty. And then I have two more things to show you. First, I'll show you this. This is our last gift, and this is a piece of jewelry. And it's a charm bracelet. Hang on here. Hmm. Oh. So it's got our Greek logo on it, Stampin' Up. And then create, inspire, and share. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Love it. One more thing, you guys. This, I think, is my... Oh, wait. Maybe there's two more things. Oh, no. That's the paper I already showed you. This is, like, my most exciting, coolest thing, I think. This is called Mercury Glass Designer Series... Designer Acetate. Mercury gl gl Glass. Look at that. This is clear window sheets with that silvery stuff on them. Isn't that cool? So I think there's a different design in here too. Hang on. Oh yeah. Crackle. Look at that. You can see through it. Isn't that cool? So what's that going to look like? Let me grab a piece of cardstock. What's that going to look like with cardstock under it? Look how cool that is, you guys. <gasps> so pr I know this was like oh my lord what is that look at that isn't that pretty yeah pretty exciting we've got just you know and these are just a few things from the holiday mini catalog and that thing is loaded with so much pretty stuff <clears throat> okay let me move some of the stuff out of the way and then I'll show you all the beautiful cards that I got for my birthday. I can't believe how many of you are still with me. I thought for sure everybody just hang up. <laughs> so thanks for hanging in there. I know this is kind of long, but there's a lot, right? There's a lot of things to show you. And I don't want to wreck my stuff here, so I want to make sure that I'm putting it away nicely. Okay. We don't want to I don't want to wreck Barb and flat Barb and the sheriff for sure. I gotta have a Greek salad now. The Greek salads there in Greece were a little different. Like around here, when you order a Greek salad, it has like lettuce or spinach in it or something, right? But in Greece, they just had tomatoes and cucumbers and they were big and chunky. And um, uh, capers, feta cheese with that spicy stuff on it that I 
bought to make salads with. And um, an olive oil with some spices in that. So that's what that's how they make their Greek salads. They didn't have any actually lettuce or spinach in it, which was kind of weird. I liked it. And the other funny thing is, I don't really like tomatoes, but um, I ate their tomatoes. They were really good. I mean, I'll eat them if they're on stuff, but it's I, I wouldn't. I don't put tomatoes on my salad. How about that? So yeah, it was really good. Okay. Next, cards. Hang on. I'm going to grab my bin. I'm going to put this one away. Oh, my. Yeah, this is huge, you guys. Holy cow. So. Now, I'm probably going to be a little quieter now because I just sat down. I was standing up that whole time. Oh, looky here. So, this is from... Terry Mullinex. Terry, um, I got your VIP form. Terry is in my monthly VIP club. And I'm going to put that over here so I don't lose it. She sent me a thank you card. Oh, she sent me a birthday card. Hope your birthday is as amazing as you are. Isn't that cute? It's a little pocket card. I really love this card, Terry. This is just awesome. Oops, I shouldn't show her address. But anyway, she's in my VIP club. So she was just turning in her VIP form because when you place um, a minimum $25 order once a month for six months, you get a $30 product credit from me. So I'll just show you a little bit about what we have here. Um, okay, here's a, here's a technique card. So this is double time stamping. I did a video on this. So when you're in the Technique Club, you get the card with the technique and then also the technique and an instruction sheet and a reference to a video. So that's what my online Technique Club is. If anybody's interested, you can pop me an email. And again, it's just kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabub.com. No W's in there when you email. And... Um, I can give you the link for all the details. Or it's at the bottom of every one of my blog posts. It says, uh, join my online club. You can get all the details there. But that's what this is all about. And she just filled up her $30 VIP credit. So I will be sending her whatever it is that she wants for her $30. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go through these a little faster. This is from my downline and friend, Jessica Schnorr. Isn't that pretty? She used brush show on the background here. Beautiful birthday card. Thank you, Jessica. I love the vividness of that. Oh, and then my friend Barb, she sent me this cute birthday card. Isn't that nice? Thank you, Barb. Sharon Jones. Oh, Sharon sent me this card. And I am probably going to use this because it's a really cool layout. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I'm going to put this. Thank you, Sharon. You know I love your cards. I'm going to put this in my to-do bin so I don't lose it. Then we've got another pretty one here. Oh, this was a paper pumpkin kit. This is from Mary Thiel. So she's congratulating me on my cruise and my anniversary. And Mary came over to our house for a party one day. She came over for a pool party, so she's thanking me for that. Thank you, Mary. And then we have Bonnie Kelly sent this card. Oh, look at this. This tucks in right there and opens up. And she's just thanking me and wishing me a happy birthday. Love that. That's really pretty. Thank you, Bonnie. Then I have my friend Denise. Look at how pretty that is. This is embossed and then colored in. Love it. This is from my friend Denise. Thank you, Denise. And we've got this. I think this is from Shelly Olson. Look at that. How cute is that? I love the cow in front of the barn. And then that wood plank background. Happy birthday! Yay! Look at envelope. This is all barnyard. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Okay, here comes another one from Sharon Jones. Look at that. 
Oh, she did Wink of Stella on this. I don't know if you can see that. The um, die cut images here. Oh, uh, here's my birthday card. Yay! Thank you, Sharon. So pretty. And then we've got this beauty. Happiest of birthdays to you. I love this die. And this is from Celix in Brook Park, Minnesota. Thank you very much. That is so pretty. Marie McMillan. Oh, look at this. This is cool. It's kind of like a collage. Oh, I like the way she tore this and opened it up. That's cool. And this is a thank you card for the chemo embellishments that she won. So that's cool. And this is from Claudia. Oh, Claudia, I never know how to say your last name. Pigeon? I'm going to go with that because it sounds fancy. <laughs> this is a really cool layout, too. I love all these circles that are punched, right? These are cool. Yep, this is birthday. Yay! Okay, hang on. I've got more. It was a crazy week while I was gone. I'm not going to lie to you. Here comes some more. Oh, this is from my sister-in-law, Pam. She is a card maker. Check this out. Is that not so pretty? Yeah, that's very cool. Hopefully you are not too busy to celebrate properly. And she said it was so nice to see me this summer. We, um, she came home from San Diego, so that was fun. Thank you, Pam. As, as always, your card rocks. And, oh, this is a swap that I do, so those I don't need to show you. Oh, this is my husband's card. This was for my birthday. After all our years together, you know me inside and out, the good and the bad, and you still love me. So I have just one thing to say. What is wrong with you? <laughs> and look at this. He always gets me something that moves or something that pops up because he knows that I'm going to goof around with it and figure out how to make it. Isn't that sweet? Look at that. Who doesn't love a card that moves? <laughs> That's cute. Okay, I gotta save that one too. Or keep it out so I can figure it out. <gasps> Esther Bethke, every year, I haven't seen Esther in years, but every year she sends me a birthday card and it's just the sweetest thing. It always touches my heart, but isn't this one just beautiful? Yeah, celebrate another year. Thank you, Esther, so much. And, oh, here's from my mother-in-law. Happy birthday! And enjoy my trip. Isn't that pretty? And then, oh, we have my Susie Molden. Sue is one of my longtime friends. That's very pretty. Nice torn edge here. I love embossing on crumb cake cardstock. I don't know. It's just a color thing with me that I, I like. And then we have Lou Ann Lee. Look at that. This is the new um, mosaic bundle. Da, da, da. And I have to read this because there's a lot in there to read. So I'm going to set that to the side. Barbara Pike, who's actually under my friend Barb. She's another demonstrator. And she said, I heard on one of your videos that your anniversary was July 4th. Hope I heard it right. Yay, happy anniversary. That is so sweet. Thank you, Barbara. And she made her own envelope out of cardstock. That's cool, right? And then we have Deborah Culbertson. Check this out. Oh, that is beautiful. I love these colors. And Deborah is from Minnesota. Thank you so much, Deborah. Beautiful card. And we have Sarah New. Oh, I love this cupcake, right? Yeah. Very, very cute. Thank you so much. I like that little rhinestone on there, too. Oh, and I did... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is from Kay. Oh, check this out, you guys. This one is from Barbara Pike, and this one's from Kay. How cool. Great minds think alike. And... Happy 4th of July. Very cool. Thank you so much, Kay. I so appreciate it. And we'll put this back here. Hang on, because... Are you guys bored with me yet? There's more. I know, I'm a very lucky girl. 
Okay, and here comes, let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, this was just a piece of paper to keep it safe. Oh, this is from my friend Vicki Davies. Vicki's in my stamp club down in Fond du Lac. She and her boyfriend and my husband all went to high school together. Very pretty. Happy birthday. That is gorgeous, Vicki. Thank you. And then Linda Dalrymple. I know I always say your name wrong, too, but look at this. I was looking at this when I opened this card up. And it says, happy birthday. Look at, she used, like, netting material, like, from the material store. The fabric store. The material store. And look at that. She put all those sequins in there. This is so pretty, Linda. Thank you so much. I love that. It's a really neat look. Okay. And then the stamp set we used tonight. Here's one from Cindy Ellers. Cindy's a longtime friend. She's also on my team. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Cindy. And then we have Elaine Reback. Oh, I love this. I love these colors together. That was a fabulous stamp set. Happy birthday. Yay, thank you, Elaine. Very pretty. And then, look at this one. There's that mosaic paper again. That's so pretty, isn't it? This is from Bernie Sidel. Thank you, Bernie. Bernie's also on my team. She's one of my friends from Nilsville. Then we've got Arliss again. Arliss is on my team, and she's also from Nilsville. Very cute. I love this stamp set and that paper. It's just adorable. Oh, and this is an anniversary card from my mother-in-law to one of our favorite couples. Now, she always sends me and Steve a check, and we usually go out to eat on her. So that's sweet. I have a good mother-in-law. I know it's a lot of people don't write, but I do. Here's a card from Trudy Hudson. Thank you so much, Trudy. Oh my gosh, it says, I, happy birthday, I hope your cruise was great. She loves Sunday night Facebook Lives, yay! She used that um, vellum and then put all these little vases in here like it's shelves. I don't think that's very creative. Oh, and then we have Tyler Jordan. Tyler sent me this cool card, love it. Thank you, Tyler. You did a really good job on this. Then we have Chris. Um, Buells. How pretty is that? I loved this stamp set. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, and this is a thank you card. You, you're welcome, Chris. Thank you. It's beautiful. Mary Emilio, look at this. I love this little scallop deal going on here. Oh, this is one of the paper pumpkins. Birthday card. I love it. Thank you, Mary. That's awesome. The Shapers. This is coming from Houston, Texas. Hey, girl. You can do anything. It's your day. How cute are those frogs? Yay. I have to read this one, too. Oh, look how funny they are. She's got one bouncing off a bike. Yeah. And it says, happy birthday. You can do anything. Well, almost anything. <laughs> That's really cute, Betty. i got to set that aside so I read your note. And another card from Sharon Jones. Wow, Sharon. Thank you so much. How pretty are these? There's a lot of layers on this puppy. I love layers, right? Okay, let me see. We're getting close, you guys. We are close to the end. Oh, I think maybe we're at the end. I think these are all cards that I've already shown you. Hey, Cupcake. Yep, this was from Claudia. Yep, so I've already shown you this card, I think. I love what she did with that leaf trim on the bottom there. That's really cool. All right, you guys, what do you think? Kathy says she had a wonderful mother-in-law too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I like, I love, I love my mother-in-law. She's great. None of these, you know, I don't have anything to complain about. She's always been super nice to me and just a wonderful person. And yeah. Okay, there's our cards, fun folds, woohoo, and this pretty little jewel. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. If you're coming in late, please make sure you click that thumbs up for a like button and share my video if you can, please. That really does help me out. If you're watching later on YouTube, please click on that share button. You can do that on there too. If you'd like to place an order, 
you're going to find my blog right here. Right hand column is an online ordering button. Click on that, it'll take you right to my store. The projects that we made tonight will be shown on my blog tomorrow with all the dimensions and clear, nice photographs. So use this host code when you're placing your order if it's under a $50 or $150. Don't forget, when your order reaches $50 retail, and that means before tax and shipping, you get a $5 coupon that you can use on your order in August. With your starter kit, $99, you get to choose $155 worth of stuff. You can become a discount shopper. You will also get a $10 coupon that you can use in the month after you buy your discount shopper kit. And you'll get a 20% discount on everything you order. So, yay. All right, guys, I am going to call it a night. I'm hungry. I need to go eat, and I need to put these fat feet up. <laughs> Have yourselves a wonderful week. I will be back live on July 21st at 7 p.m. Central Time. That is a Sunday. And um, in between, check out my blog. I'll be sharing some more videos. I'm sure I don't have anything made yet, but I will. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Stay cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>